Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban bikum. Welcome back again and we continue where we have left off. And what we had said was that the proofs that we have uh, mentioned from the Holy Quran and the Sunnah of the Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, clearly shows the leniency of Islam, uh, the easiness of Islam, and that it is not burdensome. Uh, burdensome. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not burden you with something that you cannot manage. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah does not place a responsibility on a person that which they cannot handle. And very clearly says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Ma'idah, ayah number 6, مَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيَجْعَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ حَرَجٍ Allah ta'ala do not want to place any difficulty on you. And then the ayah that we have said before, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسَرِ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسَرِ Allah ta'ala wants things easy for you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not want things difficult for you. In Surah An-Nisa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ أَن يُخَفِّفَ عَنْكُمْ وَخُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفَةً Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to make things easy for you and man has been created weak, has been created weak. So this is the description of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the hukum of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this deen, on this religion of Islam, that is a religion of ease, it is not a religion of extremists, it is not a religion of, of fanaticism, that is definitely something that Islam is not going to accept at all. But it is a deen where its characteristics is moderateness, is to be well balanced. That is part of the manhaj of Islam. That is the manhaj of Islam. That is the order of the day. And therefore you will find that this middle road of Islam is going to be between being extreme and between being relaxed. The Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam clearly also explains and 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 in actual fact the Nabi Alisam draws lines in the sand to explain to his sahaba the hadith Abdullah and Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu qala khattalana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khattan thumma qala hadha sabilullah thumma khatta khututan an yaminihi wa an shimalihi thumma qala hadhihi subulun mutafarriqatun ala kulli sabilin minha shaytan yad'u ilayhi thumma qara'a sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa anna hadha surati mustaqeeman fattabi'uhu wa la tattabi'u subula fatafarraqa bikum an sabilih ذَلِكُمْ وَصَّاكُمْ بِهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّكُونَ Surah Al-An'am, ayah number 153, was the ayah. Abdullah ibn Masood narrates this, he says, the Nabi alayhi sallam draws in the sand a line and says, this is Sabilullah, this is the way of Allah Ta'ala, this is the road of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Then the Nabi alayhi sallam draws lines on the right, on the left, on the right, on the left, and says, all of these other roads are the ones that's going to lead you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At the end or at the beginning of each of this road is a shaitan, a satan that calls you to that wrong path, to take that wrong path, to do the wrong thing, to do uh, what is considered illegal and haram and so on. And then the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam recited this ayah of Surah Al-An'am, وَأَنَّ هَذَا صُرَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمًا This is the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a straight path. فَاتَّبِعُوهُ Follow that path. وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا الصُّبَ لَا فَتَفَرَّقَ بِكُمْ عَنْ سَبِيلِ Don't follow the other paths that lead away from the deen of Islam. That path is going to separate you from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is what Allah ta'ala ordains for you. That is what Allah ta'ala orders for you to you so that you may attain piety. Taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
and, 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 and warns the Nabi Muhammad وسلم, that when you take those other parts, it's going to cause a diversion from the road, from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's going to bring in extremism, it's going to bring in fanaticism when we do that, and even in ibadat, and even in ibadat. Give an example of an ibadat. Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu in the rest of the hadith he says jaa thalatha drahat ila biyut azwaj al nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yasaluna an ibadat al nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam falamma ukhbiru ka'annahum taqaluha ayu wajaduha qalila faqalu these three of the sahaba goes to the, uh, the houses of the nabi alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in others to the wives and asked them about the ibadah how was the word Worship of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When they heard it, they realized, oh, "What are we doing? We're doing nothing compared to the Nabi alayhi salatu wasallam." Um, and, and, and this Nabi alayhi salam qad ghufir allahu ma taqaddama min zambi wa ma taakhar he has been forgiven for any possible mistake you could have done in the, in the past and any possible mistake you could do in the future so one of them then says amma ana fa inni usalli alayl abadan he says I'm going to make salah whole night all the time from now on Nine. And the other one says, Ana asumu dahar wala uftir. I'm going to fast every day. I am not going to break my fast. And another one says, Ana a'tazilu nisa'a fala tazawwaju abadan. The other one says, I'm not going to come close to women. I'm never going to get married. When these words came to the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, the Nabi alayhi salam approached them, Antumul ladhina kultum kada wa ka'a. Are you the ones that were saying these things? أما والله إني لا أخشاكم وأتقاكم لله وأتقاكم له. I am more humble and more fearful and more pious to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than you. But me, lakinni asumu wa uftir. I fast and I break my fast. Wa usalli wa arkud. I make salah and I sleep. Wa atazawwajun nisa. And I marry women. Faman raghiba an sunnati falaysa minni. So whoever distances yourself from my practice, then you cannot be from my sunnah. So there you can see that the Nabi والسلام, was not going to allow any extremism in ibadah and these are all ibadat these are the persons going to read Quran all night persons, uh, uh, the person is going to make uh, uh, salah all night sorry and the person is going to fast every day and the other one says I'm not marrying any women so the Nabi والسلام, does not allow these kinds of extremism um, in actual fact, a person that is going to cause that kind of extremism to themselves, they are not going to survive. They are definitely not going to survive. The Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam very clearly says in the hadith, إِنَّ الدِّينِ يُسْرٌ وَلَنْ يُشَادَ الدِّينِ أَحَدٌ إِلَّا غَلَبَهُ فَسَدِّدُوا وَقَارِبُوا وَأَبْشِرُوا وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالْغَدْوَةِ وَالْرَوْحَةِ وَشَيْءٍ مِنَ الدُّلْجَةِ Says the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, the hadith is narrated in Bukhari and Muslim. In the deen yusrun, the deen is easy. وَلَنْ يُشَادَ الدِّينَ أَحَدٌ إِلَّا هَلَبَهُ Whoever overburdens himself in terms of deen or ibadah, it's going to overpower you. فَسَدِّدُوا So don't be extremist in deen. وَقَارِبُوا And try and do close to perfection. Yani try as close as you can. وَأَبْشِرُوا And know that there is glad tidings for you of the Jannah. Or always speak glad tidings to people. وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالْغَدْوَةِ وَالْرَوْحَةِ وَشَيْءٍ مِنَ الدُّلْجَةِ And seek the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the morning, in the night, or even part of the night. So therefore we see that the Nabi والسلام, encouraging that this should not that there should be no extremism in deen. In actual fact uh, when the Nabi والسلام, had sent two of his ha uh, sahaba to Yemen to go and teach the people there the Nabi والسلام, said to them Yassirah wa la tu'assirah. 
وبشرا ولا تنفرا وتطاوعا ولا تختلفا. The hadith you'll find in Al-Bukhari and Muslim. Says the Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam to them, make things easy and don't make things difficult for the people. They're going to poor people too. The deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وبشرا ولا تنفرا. Give glad tidings. Don't let people run away from you. وَتَطَاوَعَ وَلَا تَخْتَلِفَ And collaborate with one another, work with one another, and do not be divided. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all those that are sick, Allah ta'ala grant them shifa. All those that are fasting, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them jannat al-firdaus. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all min al-muttaqeen wa min al-muhsineen wa min ibad al-salihin wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته